We have been so busy in the month of March getting our backyard farm all ready. We're adding more beds. We've put in some new trellises. We've completely overhauled the chicken coop. And here is a before picture of the backyard. We decided to go ahead and double the size of the garden. I've got 13 members in the family and I just felt like I really needed to be more sustainable. So we're gonna double the size. But first we worked on the chicken coop and we laid a, a brick path right in front. I'm gonna be setting some pots of herbs to grow along here this summer. And then I painted the coop and we put a new roof on. And after we got that all done, my husband built some more um, garden beds, some small ones, and two four by six foot beds and two four by four beds, and these two smaller beds to grow green beans in. Actually, I'm going to be planting on both sides some pole beans that will grow up along this trellis, which is a cattle panel. And I purchased two of these cattle panels from Tractor Supply, and they bend great and work perfectly for a trellis in your garden. So my husband was busy building all these boxes for me. We've got them set where we want in the yard, and then I've started filling them with hay and compost, and I'm gonna have to get some garden soil and so you can see that was the existing garden and we pretty much doubled it now. Now, after we put the trellis up or that cattle panel, my husband is securing these with these stakes that we also picked up at Tractor Supply. And he just pounded those into the ground and then he zip tying this to the um, cattle panel just using regular zip ties. Now, I don't think this is gonna move. It's staked down into the ground and it's just gonna work perfectly for my green beans and I can walk underneath it to pick beans. And I can't wait for the grandkids to come over and help me pick beans. They're gonna love that. So we got that done and I've got, instead of cardboard, I laid down some hay that I had in the chicken coop. And I've just placed that on the ground and then I've added a nice thick layer of compost that I've been making in the backyard. And then we're gonna get bags of garden soil to finish filling in these beds. We decided to go ahead and do this using the two by six treated wood because lumber prices had gone down and we could go ahead and afford to do this now. And there's the new roof on the chicken house. So that has been updated. Very excited to get this done. I've had to redraw out my plans of what I'm gonna plant where, but I'm just so excited that we jumped on this so that we can pretty much double our efforts here in the backyard. So this is the before, and later on in the summer, I'll keep giving you updates of how everything is growing. I've just got so many great plans. I've got seeds in the greenhouse that are sprouting, so I am so excited for spring and summer. Now, these are the trellises that my husband made. I'm gonna be planting some type of field pea in this little teepee and I have two of these I actually have three of them now and I think I'm gonna do um, those red ripper peas in these I love those peas so he has taken um, two two by fours and split them in half and this is what he's used um, to make my teepees with and I will string um, around the teepee some type of a twine and that will allow the beans to grow upward. So he's just secured that at the top with some screws and then he secured it down at the bottom. Now to keep the beds from shifting or moving, 
He also took those two by fours that he had split and made little stakes. And he's going to drive those into the middle section of each board and then screw it in. So you can see how easy these are and fast. You can put these together in a day, set these up in your backyard, and then just fill them with compost and soil, and then you can start planting. And this is going to be a zucchini bed and a squash bed, then red ripper peas, and then um, pole beans in the other beds. I can't wait to get to planting and you can see my tubs that I recently bought those will be filled with herbs in front of the chicken coop now we are expecting a hard freeze so I've covered my cabbage with plastic and hopefully they'll make it through I've got some onions and spinach planted and I covered those with plastic bags but for the next two nights we are expecting a hard freeze I'm just ready for this to be over with. Here in the South, we don't like our winter in March and April. We are done with that. We are ready to move on to spring. So I hope this has given you some ideas of what you can do in your backyard to be more sustainable. We want to grow as much food as we can for us and our family. I have six grandchildren and then my dad lives with us. So we are getting about a dozen eggs a day. We're very blessed, very happy with what we've got going on in the backyard. You can see now the after picture. And this is the other side of the yard. I've got my potatoes covered with some hay, but lots more videos coming as soon as we get some things in the ground. I'll show you the backyard farm over the next few months. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're doing in your backyard. Have a blessed day, friends.